how do you cold email as an MSP to get new clients? And if you asked me a year ago, I would have never made this video, but I get so many questions from inside the discord, from you guys commenting, from discovery calls on how to cold email. So instead of you guys just trying to figure it out yourself, I want to share with you guys the actual right way to do it because there is a right way to do this and there's a right way to be effective doing it. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether it's sales training, marketing, or even business operations. Now, before I get into it, I do have to mention, as always, go check out our website, growth-generators.com. There's a couple things in there that you might want to check out. I'm going to share my screen here, but we have our programs, super, super cool. You can learn a little bit about us, the services that we offer, and this is constantly changing, so be prepared. But more importantly, the thing that I want to bring your attention to is resources. We have an entire resources page, a blog page, and a discord that is free to join if you want to come hang out with other msps you can join the discord all you gotta do is click on it you'll jump right in there there's almost i think or over 800 people and it is truly truly incredible so i want to say thank you for that but we put all of that there there's free resources to download to help your MSP grow. And we appreciate the literal thousands of you guys that are going through downloading worksheets, checklists, going through the training and seeing success. That's really why we do it is because we want you guys to kill it. So let's talk about cold emailing. Before I get into it, what is cold emailing? So cold emailing is exactly what it sounds like. It is a cold email out to a potential prospect. Now, it is very different than warm emailing. A warm email could be you went out to a networking event, you got a stack of business cards, you're sending them an email following up. It's not completely cold. They might know who you are. Maybe you've spoken to them and they have a pretty good idea of who you are. Or maybe it was a very brief conversation, but you got their business card and they can relate, hey, I met you at so-and-so's event maybe yesterday, right? A cold email is an email that you send out into the ether, hoping that that person says, hey, I want your resources or I want your services, preferably your MSP services, and I would like to set up a meeting with you. That is a cold email. That is what we're trying to accomplish in this video. So how do you actually go about doing that? Well, we have to take a lot of steps back because I know you're probably super eager to fire off emails and start blasting people. I can tell you, I don't condone this activity, but I do want you to get good information instead of doing it the wrong way. If you're going to do it, at least do it the right way. Although I don't like cold emailing. I've actually had success doing it, not for myself, but for clients that I've done in the past, but you have to do some things very, very differently than what most of the other gurus are going to tell you that I've realized work very, very well. The first thing that we have to actually do is get a targeted email list. And even before we get a targeted email list, we need to know who we are targeting. It is wildly important to know who we're targeting because our messaging down the road is going to vary dramatically based on who you're actually sending it to. So you have to be dialed in when it comes to who you're sending it to. Now, you guys probably know, I'm going to mention the buyer persona template that we have. You can go to growth-generators.com forward slash resources. It'll be there. I'll also leave a link down below. But the reason this is really important is because no matter where you get your list, how you get the information, you need to know two things. One, who are you actually targeting, right? And two, the pain points associated with who you are actually targeting. Without those two, you are guaranteed to fail. If somebody comes up to you and says, who is your ideal customer? And you cannot answer it immediately. And then when they say, what are their current pain points? And you don't answer it immediately. You are missing out completely on the opportunities. You don't know who you're going after. So if you're thinking about cold emailing, before you continue this video, you need to get a very, 
very good idea of who you are targeting because the rest of this video, you're just going to be mad at me and I don't want you to be mad at me. I'm just trying to be the guy that everybody likes who helps MSPs. So once you actually know who you're targeting, then we can move on to the next step of the process, which is getting, you guessed it, contact information. We need emails. We need a couple different things in order to be successful. We need a name, we need an email, and we need the company that they're associated with. Those are going to be three of the core factors. Now, for people that are cold emailing a lot, fast forward down the road, you're going to get more and more information. But for now, this is what you really need at its core. You need a name, you need an email, and you need the company that they're associated with. Because without any of those, it seems like a super, super fake email address or fake email going out. So how do you actually go about getting that? There are a ton of programs out there. My absolute favorite that you guys heard me talk about, even before I was an affiliate, is a company called Leadscrape. I am now an affiliate. There will be an affiliate link down below. I absolutely love it. I pay for my own subscription. I use it all. I shouldn't say I use it all the time now, but I used to use it all of the time. It is worth its weight in gold. The other program that I absolutely, absolutely love is a company called Apollo. I have recently learned even more about them. There are other companies too. These are not the only two companies. I am an affiliate of both of them. I reached out to them and said, hey, I want to be an affiliate because I understand what you guys do. And while I don't agree with people doing it, I know that they're going to do it. And hey, you know, I'm going to I'm an opportunity taker and I might as well try to make some money if you're going to take the opportunity to do it yourself. And if you follow this video, you'll probably have some pretty decent success on it. If you just go off and freelance and don't follow this video to a T, you are going to fail along with that you have to hit the like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell to get the magic dust, the magic boost that is going to help you actually succeed. All jokes aside, truly, I appreciate the likes and subscribes. We are over 5,000, <laughs> power level over 5,000. We are over 5,000 subscribers. It is amazing. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And like I say at the end of the video, I love you guys. I really do. I try to make really, really good videos. So now that we've understood and where we're going to go get these emails, we have to do one ultra important vital step before we do anything else. And this is where people fail like religiously at cold emailing. We have to make sure that we get good data. Now, Leadscrape and Apollo are both great platforms, but the data that they give you is never going to be perfect. Nobody's ever going to give you perfect data. You have to use a email verifier. Now, I've used Kickbox in the past. I do not have an affiliation with this company. It is fairly cheap, but if you're going to send emails in the tens of in the thousands to tens of thousands, you need to make sure that the emails that you are sending out actually land in somebody's inbox. Here's why. Right. When you're going through this process, you also want to set up a new domain and a new email. You never want to do this from your primary email. It is the worst thing you could possibly do. After you do that, you need to verify those emails. If you are sending out emails constantly and they're hitting non-existent or no longer working email inboxes, you're going to get flagged as spam on all of the servers around the world. I have seen this happen and it is miserable to deal with. You need to make sure that you verify anything more than like five to 7% is not good. When I say five to 7% of not hitting people's email inboxes. Now, some programs will let you go a little bit higher than that. But when you start to get to those numbers, you really do run the risk of potentially not getting you just getting flagged as spam and blocked by all servers, and then you're literally just burning money. We don't want that to happen. You have to not skip this this step. I said in the beginning, or I said earlier on, you can't skip skips, can't skip steps in this video because if you do, you are going to burn yourself, and it's not going to be fun. Especially if you use your own email address, it is a recipe for disaster going forward. So now that we've, we know who we're targeting, we've got the list, we've verified the emails. 
We're just about there to actually send emails. But I'm not just gonna leave you with that. I wanna show you what to write and how to write those emails. So let's jump back into my computer here. And how do you actually go send those emails? Now there are three programs that you can use that I truly love. Genuinely love these programs. One, Apollo, super, super impressive. They're building this for that. And they also provide a lot of the contacts as well. They make it a pretty darn easy to have an all-in-one resource. The other two, I'm not affiliated with at all. I've used them both. They both work fantastically well. There is no favorite here. One is Instantly AI, fantastic program. Find your contacts and close your ideal customers. They may now have an, uh, the ability to actually scrape or get you contacts. They didn't in the past. I don't quite know. I don't believe they do, but they may have changed what they actually offer here. But Instantly is fantastic. There are people sending hundreds of thousands of emails per month through Instantly. That's option one or option two, I should say. Option three is Lemlist. I have a lot more experience with Lemlist. Now, all of these programs do the exact same thing. You feed them the data, they process the data, and then they allow you to send emails. And the way they send emails is very different than a normal email marketing server. Now, I don't, I don't know the, the exact technicals behind it, or I did at one point. I don't remember all of them now, so I'm not going to lie to you and tell you every little aspect of it. But what I do know is the emails that they, they send out from the specific server is flagged differently. And the way it's flagged, basically other servers see it as, hey, this is a email coming from like your personal inbox versus a giant mail server that's cranking out millions of emails per day. It's very different and it allows you to get through a lot of spam filters. And that is what makes cold emailing work potentially. Now that we've talked about what programs we're going to use, we now actually have to go write the email. Now I said I was going to show you how to write the email. The most important part to this is you want to go through, you want to grab your buyer persona, right? You have to go through the buyer persona, write that whole thing out. I'm going to pull up my buyer persona here just so you guys can see what it looks like, right? You have your buyer persona in here. That's going to give you first name, last name. You want to fill out this as much as possible. After you fill this out, you want to control A and grab everything. And then you want to go to ChatGPT and say, hey, chat, I can't type. This is my buyer persona. I want to target right XYZ companies with cold emailing. What you're doing is you're going to feed this, right? XYZ, so I'm going to type that in. Um, please give me pain points for them. You should know these. If you don't, it's totally fine. Then we need cold emails. Now I know what this is going to give me and it's going to be trash because there's no information in there, but I'm just going through, right? And I want to show first name, last name. You're going to fill that out and feed it to that. With that, hey, I want to know their pain points and I want to be able to create emails for them. You're going to hit enter and it's going to feed you information. Now this is very, very bad information because it's not filled out all the way, but it's going to kick you back emails. Now I am not saying take the emails word for word, right? And it's trying to figure out what I actually wrote there. Uh, I don't quite know because there's really no information, but you want to feed it good data. And the better data that you can give it with a really good buyer persona is going to help. It will help figure out the pain points that you're going to address. Then it's going to help you write the emails out. So then you could take those emails, modify it, tweak it, plug it into Apollo instantly and Lemlist, and then get results. But that's not all folks. I feel like this is QVC. I got more for you there. After you do all of this, right? We have to do two more things. Number one, we have to send people multiple emails. We cannot go about it sending them only one email. The second thing is, is before you actually hit publish on all of this and you have it all laid out the way that you want it to, you have to once do what's called a warm up of your inbox. Now, all of these already have it built in, so that's why I kind of waited till the end for it, but you have to go through. That may take a few weeks. So you could start that early on. Depending on where you're at, we'll determine where, where in the process you're gonna do it. You could take that time, 
start warming up your inbox, and then finally hit publish and let them rip. And after you do all of that, you're going to spend your time just getting more emails and dumping them in there and testing back and forth to see what emails get the highest return rate. But that is how you cold email. The exact step-by-step -step process. If you fail to, or if you skip any part of that, you are going to fall flat on your face. You are going to be very angry. You're going to be an email cold non-believer. It takes a tremendous amount. Remember, when you're sending a warm marketing email, you might have a 40, 50, 60, 70 plus percent chance they're going to open your email. But when you send a cold email, you might have a one, two, three, or four, a single digit open rate. Keep in mind too, we as MSPs usually, or some of us, set up phishing campaigns. So the target customer may very well think that you are a phishing campaign. And if you've made it all the way to the end, do me one favor. If you're going to put in all of this work from the top to the bottom, and you've already hit that like button, which I'm, I hope you have, and that subscribe button, your website has to support what you are talking about. If you're going to cold email, you 1000% need to make sure that your website directly talks about, responds to all of the pain points that ChatGPT has given you or that you know about your customers. If it does not, and you've worked that hard to get them to click on the email and they go do research on your website about you to see if you're a good fit for them to pick up the phone or book a meeting and your website fails to deliver, this entire process, I told you don't skip anything, I watch it to the end, is a complete waste of time, energy, effort, and money. That's it. But that is how you actually cold email the right way to get the best results possible. And you want to test the entire time, but you have to make sure that you do every step along the way correctly. Because if you don't, you're going to be like everybody else that hates cold emailing. I just hate receiving them, which is why I don't condone doing it. But if you're going to do it, at least be effective with it. It is not as it is it is as difficult as going to a networking event, meeting other people, door knocking, cold calling, I promise you. If you think it's easy to cold email, especially effectively, you are lying to not me, to yourself. It is not that easy to do it correctly. And you have to pump out thousands and thousands of emails to get a response. But that is how you do cold emailing to actually get it work or working the right way to get responses. It's not a fast process. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of energy. And it takes a very meticulous eye to go through and make sure that every step of this process is not only done correctly, but there's nothing skipped. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. For those of you that are going to ScaleCon, if you'd like to hang out with me, I will be there. If you haven't bought a ticket yet, Baron 50, I get no kickback from them whatsoever, but I would love to see you there otherwise. And if you are going, go in the Discord. Harry or Harrison, I would like to meet you in Vegas. I would like to meet you in Vegas. That's the process. You go in Discord. You tell me that you're going to Vegas. I will make sure I go see you in Vegas. And who knows? I have to figure out the schedule. There's going to be some things on the fly that I do with my audience, my followers, the people that are there that support me. So you might want to be there. Other than that, love the heck out of you guys, as always. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.